Welcome back fight fans to another video here on the fight game. In this video we'll be looking into how we think Golovkin's most recent transition to a new trainer may affect his boxing style. We all know Golovkin for his devastating knockouts in the ring. Being heavy handed in boxing seems to be something boxers are born with. When it comes to power you either have it or you don't. Boxing has seen its fair share of God-given power, from Julian Jackson to Gennady Golovkin to Deontay Wilder. But perhaps one of Golovkin's main strengths is also one of his main weaknesses. Golovkin iterated that the focus on his power punching was hindering his overall boxing performance, and said he feels uncomfortable relying on it so much. So with that came change. For those that don't know, Golovkin parted ways with his trainer Abel Sanchez earlier in April leaving Abel visibly distraught. For what reasons we'll never truly know, but all fingers point in the direction of Golovkin cutting down costs. As Golovkin is now 37 years old, it's not out of this world to say he may be approaching the end of his career. Golovkin says it's because he wants to try new things, and being with Abel Sanchez, he felt he lost that element of learning. With a big signing to DAZN, he seems to be taking more control of his boxing career. Golovkin signed a six-fight, three-year deal with DAZN at the beginning of this year, which will see him fight until the year 2021. Golovkin signed with new trainer Jonathan Banks. Banks is a former professional boxer and was trained by the late Emmanuel Stewart. Emmanuel Stewart is a legendary trainer who coached the likes of Thomas Hearns, Lennox Lewis, and Vladimir Klitschko. Which means decades of boxing knowledge has been passed down to Jonathan Banks, who will pass the very same knowledge down to the man they call Triple G. That ancient wisdom could prove to be very fundamental in shaping the course of the latter stages of Gennady Golovkin's boxing career. First, let's take a look at some of Golovkin's excellent qualities of a fighter. Power. This should come as no surprise to you as Golovkin sports a knockout ratio greater than 85%. The strong piston-like jab, the looping right hook, the chopping overhand left, Golovkin holds an assortment of different attacks in his arsenal. While his jab is oriented around disrupting his opponent's attack, it's also used as a measuring device for his looping right hook. Golovkin's power isn't necessarily a kill switch like Deontay Wilder's, but it's thudding and it's powerful enough to earn any opponent's respect. Shifting Not many fans know of the lost art of shifting. For those that don't know, the art of shifting entails a switch in stance as one throws a punch. By shifting your feet, you're able to close the distance much quicker, bringing you closer to your opponent, positioning you to unleash an additional attack. This ancient technique has allowed Golovkin to score many brutal knockouts ever since he first laced up his professional gloves. Distance Control Another one of Golovkin's excellent qualities is his ability to control the distance with his jab. Often toted as the best punch in boxing, the jab has more use cases than any other punch. In his fight versus David Lemieux, we saw this on full display. The power puncher Lemieux walked into Golovkin's jab all night, and Golovkin eventually broke him down to score a technical knockout victory. Those are some of the qualities that were focused on and reinforced by his former trainer Abel Sanchez. But now with his new trainer Jonathan Banks, Golovkin may have added a new quality to his arsenal, and that's speed. Not necessarily speed in the form of punching, but his mobility, his movement. Ever since signing with Banks, he seems lighter on his feet. He's using head movement. He seems to have added a touch of fluidity to his boxing style. And then in June, he brought this to the ring, as he knocked out Steve Rolls on his DAZN debut. Golovkin still looks good at 37 years old. What do you guys think? Does he still have what it takes to compete at middleweight world class? Or is his time coming to pass? We think Golovkin still has a few more good fights left in him. The change in style could help Golovkin prolong his career. While he once before seemed invincible, now that he's been beaten, people have written him off. While others still strongly believe that Golovkin not only won the first Canelo fight, but the second one too, perhaps it's fair to call the score 1-1. Golovkin's new style may actually help him reach knockouts even easier as he becomes a more well-rounded fighter. All things considered, it will be interesting to see how Golovkin evolves with his new trainer Jonathan Banks. Who knows, maybe we are yet to see the best Gennady Golovkin. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like as it helps us grow the channel. We'll see you in the next video here on The Fight Game.